بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم The people are waiting, congregating outside its eight blessed gates. There is a rumor going around that they are the ones who have been saved. In high spirits, they are in it with smiles on their faces, bright like moon. So soon you can barely wait. A man walks to the crowds of slaves. Who are you, the angels say? Muhammad, he replies, so the angels open the gates. The righteous of his ummah slowly begin to make their way. They heard and they obeyed, so today they will be paid. You can see the shaheed placed on his head is a crown of dignity. And the hafid who memorized the Quran, for surely it did intercede. The poor and the weak, the one who cared for the orphans in need. Making your way to the front of the line with all those who believe. A caller says, Indeed, you are promised now to live and never die, to be wealthy and never weak, to be happy and never grief, to be youthful and never age, a truth for which you all prayed. Gardens of eternity are now calling your names. Assalamu alaikum. Peace be upon you, the angels say. Wa alaykum as truly peace is for today. Dwellings of tranquility where forever you will stay. Going down in history is the day the most forgiving one forgave. No more pain, no more tears, no more trials, no more fears, no more hurt, no more strain, no more reasons to complain, no more work, no more tests, no more burdens, no more stress, no more worry, no more death. Every Everything is simply blessed. Allah has raised his slaves to the plains with Hurul Ain. Wide, lovely eyes living out the best of our days. Everybody's 33 years of age. Ageless youth circulate, serving on golden plates like scattered pearls in this world is everything you appreciate. And more garments of fine silk trimmed with gold to a T. And more bracelets of bling bling like no eye has ever seen. And more rivers of milk and honey with wine that is serene and more custom menus of anything you like to eat and more tents of hollow pearl without toilets or unease and more never will you ever ever hear rude or foul speech and more reclining couches with shade from golden trees and gardens with rivers that flow underneath Ya Ahlal Jannah Oh people of paradise, welcome to forever Your final abode, we told you so That this home was better When your iman was low, you didn't know But who cares now, you're in Jannah Ya Ahlal Jannah Oh people of paradise, your Lord requests your presence And who could reject an invite from Allah the most blessed To the valley they will rally in anticipation of their present Ya Ahlal Jannah O oh, people of paradise, get ready for this splendor. His throne is made shown, light flows from all direction. Pulpits of gemstone await the most exalted one to enter. Ya Ahlal Jannah. O oh, people of paradise, your Lord wishes to reward you. What reward you will say? We were saved from a scorching torment Has made our faces bright with light So how can there be more than Ya Ahlal Jannah Oh people of paradise This is the reason you surrendered Raise your gaze and behold The most holy, the compeller Light fills every sight As the highest one makes his entrance Ya Ahlal Jannah Oh people of paradise Peace be upon you but you respond, Ya Allah, you are peace, and peace is from you. We are pleased with our Lord, so please be pleased with us too. Ya Ahlal Jannah, O oh people of paradise, this is the day of increase. If I were not pleased, you would never have been. 
inhabitants of my Jannah, so ask anything of me. After you have received the most splendid of all treats, what more could you ask for from your Lord the most rich? Except the main event, a moment you will never forget. Ya Allah, show us your face so that we may look at it. Now close your eyes and picture this sight. Allah will remove his covering and cover you with his light. As far as the eyes can see, everything will be bright. Light upon light, the high light of paradise. How cool are your eyes by the glance of his noble face. How sweet is this speech to the ears of humble slaves. The ending of your story, the last and final scene. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa qalu alhamdulillah Alhamdulillahi alladhi sadaqana wa'adahu wa awrathana al-ardu natabawwa natabawwa min al-jannati haythu nasha And they will say, All praises and thanks be to Allah, who has fulfilled his promise to us, and has made us inherit this land. We can dwell in paradise where we will. How excellent a reward for the pious and the workers of good. And you will see the angels surrounding the throne of Allah from all directions, glorifying the praises of their Lord Allah. And all the creatures will be judged with truth, and it will be said, All praises and thanks be to Allah, the Lord of mankind, jinn, and all that exists. The emotions that we face on this earth of joy, love, pleasure, and happiness will never amount to that feeling, that complete inner peace and tranquility that we will, insha'Allah, experience on that day, staring at the face of our Lord. And this is how we will live the rest of our existence, never even once experiencing the slightest feeling of pain or sorrow, because this is the true victory. And this is the true prize that is waiting for us across the finish line, if we only knew. Brothers and sisters, Jannah is waiting for us, and we are waiting for Jannah. So even when things get tough and you're being tested and tried upon this earth, never forget that ultimate home and the luxury and bliss you will experience when you get there. If there has been anything beneficial in this recording, then it is from the blessings of Allah Azza wa Jal. If there's been any mistakes or errors, then it is from myself and the shaitan. I beg all of you to please make dua for me and my family, that we will all be reunited together with the believers and the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in the highest levels of Jannah Firdaus. Insha'Allah, when you get there, come visit me. Dinner's on the house. Jazakallah khair for listening. Barakallah feek. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.